Star Citizen looks to be getting some new office space in Frankfurt, which I hear has the best soccer team in all of Germany. April subs are giving us this kind of funny helmet chair. Let's talk about that. John Crew has his YouTube channel renamed. We'll take a look at that. And it seems that CIG may be canceling CitizenCon. 2021 we'll get to that at the end ladies and gentlemen welcome i am montoya all right first things first brian chambers tweeting out this morning that uh, cig is getting 3,000 square feet uh, sorry 3,000 square meters of space in a new skyscraper in frankfurt a big deal for a couple of reasons first of all frankfurt has the best soccer team in germany <laughs> second of all skyscrapers are kind of rare in germany frankfurt being one of the few places which is putting them up but more importantly 3,000 square meters is being leased for 10 years by cig that's about 300 would you say maybe 400 employees worth of space i wouldn't be surprised if it's an entire floor or possibly even two floors in this building so why does cig need to get this gigantic space in this new skyscraper well if you are looking for talent if you want to hire the best software engineers you got to have something which kind of impresses them uh we already know that a lot of the guys working in frankfurt came from CryEngine, but when you want to hire new talent having brand new fancy office space goes a long way in attracting the talent and for the engineers that get the job there it's kind of a boast i work in the new fancy building it's like that but also i guess the space they need and this is i guess the, the best option not the cheapest by far in fact i wouldn't be surprised if this is the most expensive office space they can get but there is a thing about hiring the best talent that they want to work in the fanciest of places and frankfurt this uh, area here is up and coming and very tech savvy so uh no doubt this will go a long way in attracting the talent that they are kind of seeking uh looking forward to seeing more information about this building and what the new offices would look like moving forward the april subs we have these uh, kitty helmets not for me man yeah but you know what my daughter's gonna love this absolutely i'm gonna get her this pink one right over here if you are centurion level you get the pink one if you are imperator level you get the white one and otherwise you have to buy this uh, the black and pink if this black and pink one was black and yellow if you can change his lights i'd be all over that uh also marvel studios is probably going to sue them for infringement because this is black panther 100 <laughs> percent was it pink panther well yeah so not for me but i do like the design uh i know my daughter will go crazy for it and uh, yeah you know maybe i gotta see it in the game it might grow on me i don't know so uh, there is your april flay oh yeah john crew uh, John Crew is the vehicle director for Cloud Imperium. He is rebranding his YouTube channel to be called CrewTube. <laughs> uh go by check his channel he's a gigantic nerd all right uh, nine subscribers come on we can double that uh, go give uh john crew here at crew tube a subscribe if you like all his oh my god 40k uh warhammer stuff what a nerd holy cr okay <laughs> but uh definitely a nice rebrand there and uh, go check out john crew's channel all right now let's go talk about citizen con uh LA Convention Center. This was booked, well booked. It showed up on the calendar in August. And where are we now? In April, May, June, July, August. We're four months away. And now if you go to the calendar right now, and if you go forward to August, uh, CitizenCon no longer appears on the calendar. So is this canceled or is this perhaps moving forward? It is not being relisted anyway now you can see there's events happening there's expos happening all the time uh but i don't see any mention of star Ooh, crypto invest nice <laughs> but i see no mention of uh, cig or citizen con or anything here so it's possible this is being pulled um it's very likely now we've heard nothing about it but typically for orgs that get booths at CitizenCon, they contact us at least three months ahead of time and now i have not received any contact it's uh we're already getting to the middle of april and if i don't hear anything from cig by the end of april uh beginning of may it's possibly likely that CitizenCon has been cancelled why you ask well really i mean do we need to answer the question it's uh it's bad out there it still is pretty bad now not a lot of you have already received the first vaccination uh, i have and uh some of you have gone to the second one already but there are many places in the world which they have not including europe a lot of my friends in europe are looking at uh, june july 
to get theirs which is kind of kind of close but we don't know what's going to be happening with variants and all that so it's possibly they're playing it safe but look there's still plenty of uh, events happening so i don't know at this point they got to give us a heads up because a lot of people especially from europe i miss you guys man last time we were here in the la convention well we weren't in the la convention center but last time in la was 2016 right and I look at my Discord, all the guys I hang out with now were guys that we all got together in LA. That was a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to seeing you all again. I really do miss you all. Uh, but at the moment, it doesn't look like this is happening. So kind of sad news. But again, uh, CIG very likely just trying to play it safe. I don't know if the people from Europe can even travel yet. Are there still restrictions on travel where you can go? We don't know. I think there's just way too many unknowns and questions at this point in time. Uh, for anyone to make any kind of solid plans. So that might explain why they've pulled this. But again, if we don't hear uh, anything by the end of April or May, uh, it's possible it may happen. Or it's also possible this may be just shifted into November, October, November, or a bit later. Um, because they will need to give us a, at least three months of head time. You want to book a hotel or Airbnb, you do need that extra time to get the good prices. Otherwise, last minute is going to be a disaster. So we'll keep our eyes on that. I'll let you guys know if I hear anything from CIG about any org booth because they give us a heads up on that. Um, but at the moment, it doesn't look good. I'm sorry to say that. Uh, so kind of sad news over there. But again, better safe than sorry, right? Because... We're still in there. So, uh, new building going up. Looks good. And if you're in Frankfurt, let me know why you have the best soccer team. <laughs> uh, Star Kitty Helmets. Mm, I'll see. Grow on me. Drop by CrewTube. Give him a subscribe there. And with that, let's wrap it up. If you enjoyed my content, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.